in a great day. Here we are in uh, Dearborn, Michigan, I believe, and we're right next to, um, well, it's, everything's Ford is just around us right now. I'm currently standing at the uh, factory tour bus stop where you can hang out for buses that depart soon and uh, get a factory tour. That is super exciting. But as you can see, all around us are historical Henry Ford locations and buildings, even a museum over to my right. Since we're over here, you know what? It'll be cool to see if we can find any of the new Mustangs driving around, that being the dark horses. <laughs> so that, that's gonna be cool. Let, let's get straight to it, actually. It's gonna be an action-packed day. That building over there is very um, cool looking to me. Reminds me of the McLaren Design Center, how it's like rounded out. Let's uh, drive by and see what it looks like. Let's do some car spotting in my Toyota Camry. This is where Roush is, right here to our right. And then to the left, Ford Performance is actually integrated right next to it? What? Is that a Raptor R over there? Oh no, it just says Raptor with orange flakes on the side or, or orange striping on the side. But really cool seeing the Ford Performance lot. Inside is where the Ford Performance team is. Hopefully it's not too loud with the wind. But continuing to go straight to my left, there's actually a C8 Corvette parked. What the heck, what is a C8 Corvette doing out here? parked at the Ford Performance lot. Are they doing testing? I don't know. Raptor R. Is, is, is that the new Raptor R? Yeah. I, I have one on order. I got the allocation. I'm from California. I, I saw it on the road. I was shocked. But sorry to bother you. I just haven't seen one yet. Well, you guys have a good day. It looks cool. So I'll, I'll, I'll get out of your way. Oh my gosh! Two Raptor R's, non-stop mules, prototypes, driving around with camouflage. Um, I think we saw the Dark Horse as well. This is just driving next to the Ford factory or the Ford Dearborn locations. We're just driving on the street and they're driving around. So it's like, hey, no harm done, right? But uh, seeing the Raptor R's in person, oh my gosh, I'm excited. They look bigger than I thought they would be. Um, but the orange accents, we saw the, the uh, code orange, the spec that we ordered. And, oh, it sounds good. The rumble, the growl. Uh, let's hang around here for a few more minutes and see if we can see anything else. To our right, we have that museum I was just referencing. And to my left is actually uh, the Experimental Development Center. Check it out. Look at that. They're building away all Ford right here. They are expanding, expanding. This is so fun. <laughs> I, I need all of you guys to break down. What, what are we seeing here? What, what are the cars we're seeing? Are they dark horses? Are they other variants? They're testing them obviously going back and forth between this location to my left, which I, I don't know what the name of this facility is. I know the one to the right is the experimental center. Um, what, what is this place? Let me read it real quick. This is uh, product development. Okay, so they go from product development back and forth to the experimental center of development.
And that's going to wrap up my uh, car spotting out here next to uh, Ford's HQ where they're building the vehicles. Uh, this building looks so cool. Forgive me for not knowing the exact name of uh, what it's called, but I uh, really do like the Henry Ford Museum to the right. Tons of Mach-E's everywhere. Literally, literally, this is Motor City. This is where all the amazing American cars come from. I love this green on the Bronco, and I think this is by far my new favorite color for the Ford Bronco. What are your thoughts on this screen right here? It looks so, so good. Reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Ford Mustang bullet green. Yeah, it looks just like it, doesn't it? A lot of flakes. Let's walk to the back. Wow, it is so awesome out here. It really is. This is not a manufacturer car, but tons. Every other vehicle I see is a manufacturer vehicle and tons of employees driving around. I think there's like a statistic online how um, a majority of the population over here is employed by an automaker like Ford or Chevy or even like Chrysler. Let's get a good backdrop, right? Is that a good backdrop? Right about there. That's a good backdrop. I can't wait to get the Raptor R. I'm so excited. It's going to be such a fun off-road vehicle. Testing out the new uh, Bronco Raptor. That was a lot of fun. I uh, wasn't really off-road it, but testing it out was a lot of fun. And then um, getting our order confirmed for our new Raptor R. That means we've got the allocation. That means we've got the car. All we got to do now is wait for the team out here to build it. Hopefully that comes sooner than later, to be honest with all of you. But uh, not just that. I'm excited to learn more about the new Mustang Dark Horse. And ordering that vehicle and trying to get like the manual with it or carbon fiber wheel if we can when that vehicle comes out it should be a lot of fun uh, model year wise I'm hoping to see uh, more updates when it comes to the next model year rolling around so 2023 um, and then maybe towards summer ish we'll hear more bigger updates about the vehicle being uh, built or a time frame for when it will be built I hope you enjoyed this uh, really cool behind the scenes this action of being in Michigan just what it's like driving around anyways hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to hit that like button to help me out and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way I'll see all of you in the next episode <laughs>